This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for choosing News 4. I'm Claire Kellett. Here are some of the stories making headlines. St. Louis police are searching for a suspect after a mother and her two young daughters were gunned down and killed in their home in South St. Louis. That shooting happened along South Grand near Merrimack, just a couple of blocks from Ted Drews. It was there where police found a 30 year old mother, two girls ages one and seven shot to death. Police are asking anyone who has any information about this to call police or Crime Stoppers. Federal agents and local law enforcement officers on Thursday were seen at the home of a Lake St. Louis man believed to have taken part in the Capitol riot in Washington, D.C. back on January 6. News 4 reported about the man seen in photos you see here and videos inside the Capitol wearing a blues hat in January. We have not identified him because charges have not yet been filed against him. Federal authorities were seen outside of his home on Thursday. It's not known if he was taken into custody or if charges are pending. News 4 crew saw FBI agents carrying boxes out of his house. Just a few hours ago, News 4 found out the Illinois Health Department will ease COVID restrictions in the Metro East. With the region's positivity rate going down, the Health Department lifted restrictions this morning. So that means indoor dining allowed again at 25% capacity, but only for parties of up to 10 people with social distancing or barriers between tables. Also, gyms, movie theaters, and office spaces can reopen at 50% capacity. Rainy Thursday and very cold temperatures ahead. Now as we check in with meteorologist Kent Earhart. Well, a wet one out there today with all the rain across the area. Now that'll be moving out during the afternoon hours and into the evening. We should dry out could end as a little bit of a light mix or get a little snow in some spots. It's windy out there. Northwest winds at 15 gusting to 30 miles per hour. As you look at the super predictor again by three o'clock uh, in the afternoon, the tail end of that rolls through and you can see a little bit of a uh, change in uh, state from uh, rain to a mix or some light snow, but it's very brief. Don't expect any accumulations too warm and it stays above until early tomorrow. Now we are going to have typical temperatures tomorrow morning. Notice it's dry all day Friday. Could see a couple of little areas of light mix in the evening, late afternoon or evening. But let's get to Saturday because that's been the focus of this next area of snow. And you can see it at noon on Saturday and then through the afternoon, uh, the northern part of the viewing area. As we get into the day, notice it's rain and mix down to the south in some warmer air then a changeover to snow. So this is six o'clock on Saturday evening. It continues to make progress to the east, clearing the area for the most part by midnight and moving off to the east, but leaving much colder air in its wake. 40 degrees today and windy, a 50% chance of snow on Saturday. I'm not sorry, not today, tomorrow, uh, Friday and a 50% chance of snow on Saturday. Then we're talking about cold conditions on Sunday. Look at that morning low of 10. And then as we go into Monday, cold Tuesday, cold Wednesday, you get the idea. Very cold for a while and a few little clippers that run through the area and give us a few lighter snow showers. Yeah, we get we get the theme there. Cold, cold, cold. Thank you, Kent. And that's your news for update. Remember, we're always online at KMovie.com and your KMovie News app.